Julie Cunningham, Ron Busby. And we we have shared interests and we have some things we don't agree on, but we're gonna come together sooner or later, by and by. But welcome, welcome, Ron. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not as eloquent, so I'm gonna put this bike down. Uh, I might fall down. <laughs> Thank you. I've had it. Not even a drink yet. Thanks to everyone for being here. Uh, again, thanks to Compto for their support of this uh, evening's event. Uh, as she said, about a year ago, Michael called me up and said that they wanted to do an event for the African American mayors that were in town. Uh, and within a week and a half, uh, Julie stepped up along with the U.S. Black Chamber and put on a phenomenal event uh, here in Washington, D.C. My name again is Ron Busby. I'm the president and CEO of the United States Black Chamber. Uh, we've been around a little less than about a year and a half. We came in right after this administration. Uh, our very first meeting was a cold, snowy, wintry Saturday afternoon, and it was a handful of chamber presidents that came together. I had been here about three weeks. Uh, my chairman had been here before me, and he had said, hey, man, there's a guy in town I want you to meet. I gave him a phone call, we talked on the phone, and that same Saturday he showed up in a suit and a tie to come and meet with us, and that gentleman named was Michael Blake. Uh, <laughs> Michael has truly adopted us as an organization, as well as other African American across the country. We represent 80 black chambers across the country, and it literally, I am real proud to say that because within a year and a half, we went from five chambers to representing the majority of the black chambers of this country. We are the strongest national black chamber in the country. We have more members than any other chamber in this country, and we are making a difference. I want to acknowledge some of the folks that are behind me who work along with me, my board of directors. You will hear from my 